Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at how you can turn a mono sound into a stereo sound with just obviously the, the mono sound. So what I've got here is I've got um, a mono guitar riff and I want to make it sound a bit wider. So I'll just quickly play the riff to you. Okay, so it's in mono there. And I want to get it to sound a bit wider. Now, there's a couple of different things you can do. First of all, you can... What we're going to do first of all, we'll leave these effects just for the minute. So the first thing you can do is obviously add a widener tool. But we want to give it a bit more character than just widen it. All widening, all that really does is this. So we have one pan left and one pan right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just move one of them slightly forward. And when you play it now, you get a real wide sound. That's one way you can do it, but I don't want to be doing it that way. I want to add a bit more character to it, because all we're doing is getting the same sound and playing it either side. So we're going to add a bit more character to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the right channel. So obviously panning one hard left and one hard right, because it's the exact same sound, it's still going to sound mono. But what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, we're going to add an EQ to both of them. So this is the EQ we add into the right, and then to the left we'll also add an EQ. And what we're actually doing here is we're just dipping out sound frequencies. Okay. At, at certain parts. So this one's 190. And this one's got a dip here at about 500. This one's got a boost at about 1100. This is a boost at about 3000. So let's listen to it now. Straight away, what we've actually got there is we're actually getting um, the sounds to sound slightly different. You can hear it there; the sound is slightly different, and they're sounding a little bit wider. So now we're going to add some effects to the to the sides. So we're going to add a chorus to the right hand side only. Let's listen to just that. And then now, when we play them together. Just as a bit more character to it. What we're also going to do is add a little bit of reverb to the right hand side as well. And this is just a free reverb you can download. And then what we're also going to do to the left, we're going to add a delay. Just a slight delay to the left. And then when we play them together, And then on the main bus, we're going to add another reverb and just some more TT, just to get it sounding a bit better. And one of the other things you can do if you want is you can actually bring the dry guitar. We've just got the dry guitar going to the reverb as well. We can bring that back in slowly just to fine it up a bit more. That's one thing you can do. This works really well when you're trying to. Um, when also, if you're making vocals as well, you can do this. Um, so if you've got one vocal, but you want to try and make harmonies or make the vocal sound a bit a bit bigger, for example, when it's coming into the chorus, you can do this effect with with that as well. Um, and also, you can do it with uh, synths and stuff as well. So that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you find this uh, useful, and thanks for watching.